And here we are with February, people. And my mantra for today was, or is, if you follow me on social media, time to be courageous. And I think that's basically saying it in a nutshell for this month of February, because it's just about endings and more endings and more endings and more endings and more endings. And more endings. It's the energy vibration when you see that the the tree has actually, it's blossomed, the blossoms have gone, the fruit has come out, the fruit's been picked, and then what's left? What's left, it's time for the tree to die off and then for the tree to actually regenerate. So we are in the month of everything dying off. The regeneration and all of the new beginnings will be happening in the month of March. A lot of the readings I've been doing over the last few weeks has come up with February, March, February, March, February, March. And it's like breaking from all of the restrictions over the next eight weeks. Things starting to move, going in new directions over the next eight weeks. So we've got this really strong idealism that will be happening up until the 19th. But from the 19th through until the end of the month, I'm feeling like that there's going to be sort of like two forces pulling against each other. So the more united and the more in harmony we can be like the sign of Aquarius, which are the two wavy lines, the better we will be as far as our journey is concerned. A lot of fire, a lot of fire energy on the 5th and the 6th and again on the 22nd and the 23rd. So just be very, very aware with, aware about that and just try to keep yourself as calm as possible. Now, we then get this need to be balanced, right? And the, the need to be balanced sits in between those dates. And those dates are the 10th and the 11th. And just watch your emotions on the 12th and the 13th. And then again on the 21st. We're then looking at a very, very important time to stay grounded. And it's toward, it's at the end of the month. It's at the end of February. So we've got the 27th and the 28th. Stay grounded. We've got a lot of really practical, logical thinking about everything um, that is really, really important up until the 11th. So it's like if your mind starts to wander off into a whole lot of different levels of being, bringing it back and having it just be grounded and practical. Then what happens? In comes the idealism. Um, and that comes in on the, on the 11th, which will take us through right through until the end of the month. But around the, the 11th through to the 19th, it's going to be high, high, high levels of idealism in all of our thoughts and to do with all of our actions. A lot of heart energy coming in around relationships right up until the 20th. But from the 20th until the end of the month, boy, oh boy, things are going to hot up. Things are hotting up. And of course, we know when we're looking at the planet that deals with relationships that we're also looking at relationships between countries. Um, anything can happen in regard to energy energy direction for people over the whole of the month and like and getting like very very quick sharp ideas about things and it's like right okay going off in this direction going off in that direction so it's like an anything can happen uh, pattern that will be taking place all month so just be prepared for that in the outside world right anything can happen now We've talked about our Jupiter with that wonderful Aries vibration. So um, from the 20th on, it's like that Jupiter energy is coming together with the Venus patterning. Um, and that's very, very positive, but it can also create sudden, very sudden changes, 
some things happening like out of the blue out of the blue out of the blue yeah i love jupiter and i love when jupiter does that we know that we're still sitting with the saturn in aquarius and we're sitting with that right through until the 8th of march so not long to go anybody that is an aquarian to do with that saturn if you're doing your first or your second saturn return again not long to go with the testing that that actually brings in and if you've got aquarius Aquarius anywhere in your chart it's like the Saturn's going to be moving on out of Aquarius so things will start to settle down a lot more for you and that's about you reassessing all of the learnings that you've had during that period of time now I've got to go back here we go with with our wonderful our wonderful Pluto and yes Capricorn 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 it's starting at are you ready for this 28 degrees of Capricorn there it is 28 degrees 28 degrees and then on the 12th of Feb it goes it moves into the 29th degree so it's like it's nearly out it's nearly over and done with which is absolutely amazing. So it's the last little bit of the journey of our Pluto being with our Capricorn. And as I've said to you guys over and over and over and over again, I know that you're probably sick and tired of hearing me saying this, but it's like that Pluto Capricorn to do with government, to do with money, to do with big business, all of that. And that's what it's been working on and slowly breaking down and getting it all sorted out over the past 20 years and then we know that it's then going to make its way into the the, um, the Aquarian energy and that will be it will actually be in Aquarius on the 24th of March and then we've got some retrogrades that I've explained to you before now with the retrogrades when it does go back into the retrograde it goes back into your Capricorn um, the only the it goes back to at certain points 27 degrees so it's only going to be at 27 degrees 28 degrees and 29 degrees in capricorn so that's sort of like a repeat of what it is that it's been cleaning up so it goes um in the the 27 28 29 degrees that we've already experienced it goes back in and it just cleans up whatever needs to be cleaned up whatever needs to be reassessed so that then it can then move forward as so that when we actually hit when it's fully gone back into Aquarius and then it's moving forward and we've got that for the whole 20 years which is a phenomenal so with the cards what are the cards saying it's like we've got Donald Trump of course we've got the card of Donald Trump and he's coming in with what he's coming in with the shining of the lamp so the light the light he's shining the light and the light is shining in over the card of the devil um so all of that exposure and then we hit the card that's got to do with the end of the cycle so the end of the world cycle that we have known so it's like it's so close it is just so close and then we start to get balance and we start to get balance in to do with the finances we also have the justice must prevail and then we have everything being destroyed that needs to be destroyed and when i was reading for somebody from america the other day what came up with that particular card was that people will be actually um there'll be a knock on the door need to stay inside or don't go into this area of town because we're actually going to be blowing up buildings so like buildings going down now we know with all of this that there's going to be a lot of heartache a lot of heartache guys so we're needing to get really clear and we're needing to get really really strong about everything because when the s-h-i-t hits the f-a-n it's like we are all going to be needed but the truth that we're being carrying like a burden will be lifted and that's when we bring in this whole new world whole new world i mean i'm so excited now it's showing for feb you know so we know that we've only got that energy um that's coming in with the march vibration but feb is the beginning 
then we're seeing it's like it's interesting because we've got lots of celebration but we've got lots of um like new work so so your career the work as that you have been doing um a lot of you can expect that to change dramatically very important that we do not live in the past it's like we cannot go back over oh if only this hadn't have happened that wouldn't have happened and whatever it's happened guys it's happened it's done it's done it's done it's dusted so all we have to make sure is that it never happens again because there's going to be a lot of judgment like judgment days here and it's like and it ain't looking too pretty for quite a few people so we're going to have to need a lot of strength to be able to support people in getting through again we've got here breaking from restrictions and that's over the eight weeks of february and march cutting releasing and letting go of everything that's no longer relevant and having to turn your back and walk away from everything that is empty in your life exposure of lies happening exposure of lies happening the truth is coming out and it's going to bring with it the energy vibration of death and it, it is death of people but it's also death of the old way making sure again that that never happens please 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 get out of your heads february march get into your gut and if you don't get a good gut feeling about something it's like follow it follow it because it is absolutely spot on you don't get a good gut feeling about someone it's like stay away stay away because this 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 feeding us of this high energy level of intuition which is what we were basically meant to function from in our lifetime but of course what did they do the cabal programmed us to move out of our intuition our connection to god our connection to the universe and to go and become left-brained little robots while well, all of that now is changing but we are like at the crossroads to do with all of this new energy coming in but we have got such an incredible incredible audacious victory it is not funny and donald trump has got the most audacious audacious victory i mean i am so happy now when all of this happens what do we have to do we've got the card here and it is saying all of us have to stand our ground do not let anybody ever interfere with you your life your family whatever stand your ground and do not take any rot from anyone do not hand your power away ever ever to anyone ever you don't and people will go oh i'm needing to know this or i'm needing to know that what does your gut feeling say to you what does your gut feeling say to you because that's your connection to god that's your connection to source start trusting it it will always take care of you so god bless to all of you guys it's like thank you for everything um it's like it's been the most incredible incredible um four-year journey for me absolutely amazing and it's just like onwards and upwards from here so god bless you all and um talk to you in march bye